Alrighty guys, we're back with Kerbal Space Program. This is part 6. And this is our brand new Jeb Station. It is uh, the very first thing we're going to attempt to do with Jebediah. And this is uh, something I want to keep in space just to keep there. It does not have any docking ports, so it's not actually a space station. But uh, at the same time, it's going to work good enough. I do believe it'll work just fine. So uh, let's try this out, see how well it goes, and then we will see if we need to. Uh, oh, we can't afford it, really. Oh man, we got no money, guys. We got no money. Um. Okay, can I get out of there? Okay. We got to bail ourselves out of this mess. The only downfall about this shuttle is it is extremely expensive. So let's see what we can get here. Only 8,000. Oh man. Huh? Yikes. We do have 22 research because we have tested this flight. Uh, last time it didn't work for us because uh, we forgot to add a coupler. Um, ouch. We're not going to get very far at all here. Well, um, plan two. <laughs> We're going to go explore Kerbin some. Oh wait, I don't want to be over in this. I want to be in the uh, space plane hangar, I think. Alright, we'll keep that ship there just because that one is a good one. I do want to launch it into space, but we can't afford it just yet. Which means we need some contracts. We did uh, upgrade this, or something. We upgraded this, so they can perform EVAs now and they can place flags. That's uh, two of my favorite things to do, because going into space in EVA is just amazing, and I just did it again. Ah, that's crazy. Alright, so, um, you want to let me out? Okay. Basically, um, today we're going to go and try to explore the rest of Kerbin. Uh, we're going to create a little shuttle hopper thing that I like to create with uh, the new engine we just unlocked. Uh, I'll show you guys. We did get the advanced rocketry because we managed to get like 60 research out of that first launch of that shuttle. Um, so we're going to use the thud engines. They are one of my favorites and uh, it's pretty easy going it doesn't lift too much weight but it, at the same time it doesn't create too much thrust so if you crash you're not gonna die <laughs> uh, it's it's important not to die so we're gonna make a little spider hopper thing that I like to do I don't know we'll figure it out uh, start with the MK1 and we'll add on a couple of these Alright, three ought to do it. And then we will attach three of these, or two of these. So it, it creates like legs, guys. That's the plan. Kind of want to attach this one up here, though. Alright, and then we rotate them. Yeah, it seems kind of weird putting this over here, but uh, this is where I like to put it because it's already in the horizontal way. So it makes it a bit easier. So yeah, do you guys enjoy uh, Kerbal Space Program? Because I actually like this game. It's a fun little game. It's a great way to... Uh, learn a little bit about spacey stuff and uh, what the astronauts go through. <laughs> it's pretty challenging to create a successful engine that will uh, willingly go up that high. 
And just because we're going to attach the jet engine there, we do need to show these because the thrust needs to be below the center of mass, which it is, so that's good. You don't want it ahead of it because then your whole front end's just going to dive down. Not that we're going like that anyway, but you get the point. And we just attach a few batteries on it. This will probably land somewhere else. We'll throw a parachute on it just because that's probably a safe way to do things. We'll attach it more towards the back because we usually always end up with the uh, front going straight up and the back down. So it doesn't make much sense like that. Alright, we'll attach some goo containers. These I want to put more back up towards the front here because the weight is kind of shifted back a little bit. And then we attach the antennas. And we actually have the uh, thermometer now, so we'll be putting that on there as well. Measure some temperatures around the uh, planet there. And we'll take this off and we will add this. Check our weight. Okay, we're only 13, so two of these would lift this ship pretty easily. But uh, we got four, so we should be fine, and we have the jet engine, which we have to add a uh, air intake for. Easy enough. Simple like that. No biggie. Kind of get it centered. There we go. That should do it. At first we're going to try to start off with just the jet engine. Actually that's probably a bad idea. <laughs> we're not very good at doing that so yeah we're just going to start off with all engines. Uh, all engines it's going to drain the uh, fuel rather easily rather quickly but at the same time we should be able to manage to get somewhere. Somewhere enough to uh, take some uh, experiments there and get more research and possibly even more money. We desperately need that money because we are really, really in bad shape here. Uh, we almost can't even afford this. So we will call this the Kerbin Explorer. Not as in Space Explorer, but just simple exploring on Kerbin. We're going to save it and then we're going to go back out to missions. We need to see what we can pick up, if we can pick up anything. Because uh, without the missions in career mode, you won't get very far. Uh -huh. Alright, we can't pick up any more. But I'm not going to bother with that stupid parachute one. And this one I've already tried and it did not give me credit for it. Uh, they want suborbital flights. I could do that, but it's going to cost more than what I can afford right now to do that, so. Uh, visual surveys. I don't know where this is at. It's difficult because if we take it and we don't meet the requirements we're out 8,000 no currency there which I guess they give us in advance anyway so let's take that I didn't realize they gave it in advance as well alright so I think that's all we can really do right there wait this is the thumper one alright yeah we got the thumpers on ours pretty sure those are called thumpers we can do this! We got this, we got this. Let's get ourselves a uh, little bit of exploring Kerbin. Maybe find some Easter eggs. I don't think we have enough stuff for that yet, but yeah. You get the point. It is a thud, not a thumper, dang. Uh, the thumper is this little tiny one, no? Oh, it's one of those. They don't even... Oh, it's a big one. Okay. Ah, that makes sense, I guess. 
We're not going to bother with the thumper right now, though. We're going to go ahead and launch. We'll see how well we do. See if we can manage this. And we don't have an engineer on board, so we won't be able to repack our parachute and land multiple times. But uh, if we do it right, we can just land with the uh, engines and toggling the throttle up and down to uh, control how fast we're landing. It shouldn't be hard, right? Not at all. Let's go. Alright, so we'll go ahead and deploy them. Let's go ahead and pick up some speed here. It's putting us forward for some reason. Too much weight in the front. Alright, we gotta shift some weight here. That's what happens when you have too much, uh, your, your mass, center of mass too close to the, uh, thrust. Which, as you can see, right here, it is extremely close to that. So what we need to do is we need to add more weight back here. Or we need to shift that. Yeah, let's see if this will do the trick. I don't know why I do that. There's like a shortcut that you can use to uh, shift the center of, or shift it directions without doing all that turning thing. I'm trying to line them up so they don't have the uneven start. I think that's right. Uh, only one way to find out, I guess, huh? Let's see if this does it. I did move the uh, thrust forward, so hopefully that works. The uh, center of mass is exactly in the center this time, so hopefully we can manage to get this thing going. Let's see what our luck is like this time around. Let's go ahead and turn on the uh, SAS and RCS just because I like having them both on. Let's deploy them and start giving ourselves some thrust here. A throttle. Now we're too heavy in the back. But that should be okay. All things considered, let's find out. No, it's not. Alright. And that's what happens when everything totally fails. And as you see, Jebediah survives almost all crashes. He's crazy. But we're going to go ahead and revert that because we can't afford to make a mistake with this thing. And I'm not really sure why it's giving us such issues. It shouldn't. I'm, I usually launch these things, no problem. Alright, so our center of mass is too far in the back now. Let's see if we can move them up really close like that. And what I meant by the whole uh, shifting their direction, I could easily just have done that the whole time. Alright, so the center of mass is basically the same as the thrust on this one, except that totally did not go through. Ouch. Alright, let's see if this lets us do it this time. Uh, if not, we're going to have to figure out what's wrong. I think it's still something to do with the thrust, probably this engine here. Let's try it out. See how well we go. I'm failing miserably at this, and I'm not trying to fail. I'm trying to actually get this thing off the ground. But things aren't as easy as they seem in this game. We did get one into space and an orbit, though, so that's a win there. Let's deploy it. Let's give it some throttle, and we're just still too heavy in the back. Now this is me pushing forward full force. It's not gonna work. Um, yeah. 
Alright. Time for some improvising, huh? We need to add more weight on the top of the ship. Get that above the thrust since we're thrusting upward and not forward. It is basically in the same spot as the mass now, so that's exactly where we want it to be if we're just going vertically. Which we are, but it needs to be heavier up top. Like so. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I can't say guys, I really don't know. Alright. Will that be enough? I mean, that's a lot of air intake, but uh... It can be ugly. I'm okay with that. As long as it works. Let's try again. Probably not gonna work, but you know, we'll have to try. If it don't work, I'm taking that jet engine off. We should be able to launch without this stupid jet engine. I just had that on there so I could go forward better, but uh, it doesn't seem to want to launch with that thing on there. Okay, we got a lot of weight in the back. That much is given because it's slanted backward. Let's try it out. Nope. Too much weight in the back. Well, guys. Just our luck. We are not doing very well today. That's for sure. You know what? Let's just take that whole thing off. Let's throw a parachute somewhere else. Right here it seems good. Take out the air intakes. Because we don't need them anymore. Check the center of mass and all that. Uh, okay, um, I think we'll be too heavy in the front now. I hate when that happens, I forget to turn on the symmetry mode. I'm not really sure what the problem is here, but uh, yeah. We do need to rotate this. That way just a little bit. Is that good? There we go. That's good. Alright, so our thrust is ahead of the uh, center of mass. Let's try it like this and see where we get. I think our two front engines are starved from fuel now though. So that's not a good thing. And I don't know why it just did that, but okay, whatever. We'll have to throw the parachute in another one and drag that up. Still too much in the bag. I don't know guys. This thing's not working. <laughs> and Jeb still survives. Of course he does. He's Jebediah. Jebediah survives all explosions. I'm terrible with the space plane hangar. I don't know what is up with it. I just cannot get anything to launch that way. Fear not, guys. I will get something to launch through the space plane hangar. Not. I can't believe I just wasted 20 minutes trying to get something to launch through this place or the space plane hangar and failing miserably. Alright, so we're going to do the same basic idea through here, but uh, I seem to have better luck launching them this way. 
We're gonna not have the uh, stupid uh, research thingy. We don't need that. We do need a comm station or whatever comms device, and we need a thermometer. I'm gonna post it there. We'll have two goo containers. That's not centered. If it ain't centered, it'll drive me crazy. As I'm sure it would most people. Alright. Okay, so we got everything there. We need to attach a parachute roughly right about here. Ah, dang it. <laughs> I had it on two again. Ah, I keep forgetting about that. Alright, so we only have one parachute. All good. Now we attach our engines. We need, uh, I'm gonna give ourselves four of these and we're just gonna fly it like this. Sound good? Should be alright, right? Let's go check out what our little Kerbal Explorer works like. Kerbin Explorer, Mark 1. Right, all good. Let's uh, add ourselves some uh, winglets on there. We don't need four, we only need two. And line it up based on that. Alright, so this should be alright, let's check everything. Our thrust is below our center of mass. Alright, I think we're good. We should be able to turn it rather easily with the winglets. Um, let's see, we got some uh, fuel. Our fuel is probably not going to last very long. Well, that's okay, because we can also test this uh, thumper one here. So, uh, let's go ahead and add that thumper engine here and maybe get some money from testing that. It should launch just fine even with that on there. Yeah. The thrust is still lower than the center of mass. That's what you gotta do, guys. You gotta keep that uh, thrust marker below the yellow center of mass. And it's supposed to work. It doesn't seem to work in our favor, though. I'm not an aerodynamics expert, so I do not know what is wrong with it. But, uh, yeah, hopefully it works out. Let's move that up and we need to move this thumper engine down. We also need to add a decoupler so that we can get rid of that. This T8IBA, whatever. 1BA, or 18A, wow. TR18A decoupler. Okay, all good. We got this. We need to add ourselves, uh, let's go with six batteries, right? Yeah, six batteries is good. Who can lose with six batteries? Not us. Alright, let's launch this baby. Are you ready to fly? You got this, guys. Are we gonna make it? Take your votes now. No cheating, no skipping ahead in the video. You gotta cast your vote now. Win or fail, which will it be? Will Jebediah die today? Will he go out in a fiery bang and crash, utterly destroying everything that he ever dreamed of? Or will we manage to launch perfectly fine? Like this. Oh yeah, we're good. We're gonna be perfectly fine. Nothing can bother us. This will get us up high enough. Oh, look, we already got that done. We just got 5,000 for that. That's good. And zoom out a little bit so it ain't as loud. It's all good, right? We're looking good. We're going straight up. We're not losing control or anything. And once this runs out of fuel, we should be high enough. Should be a couple thousand meters. And, uh, yeah. We should be able to turn it vertical or horizontal and fly like an airplane. It's about the best way I can make an airplane, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not very good at it. 
All right, let's decouple that. New engine's running. Let's uh, turn the state to deployed on the winglets. We should be able to take control over the ship here. All right, we're good. Um, <laughs> um, it's not working very well in our favor. Too high. Too high. Come on. Ah, uh, come on. Give us some control here. Thank you. All right, we got control, guys. Our wings are controlling how we're turning and uh, everything else is controlled by the uh, engines in the back there. Uh, we're turning upside down. <laughs> Our plan is failing miserably. Maybe we shouldn't have deployed the, in or the wings. <laughs> Let's undeploy those. Well, let us fly now. Uh, probably not. Let's see, do we have control? I think so. Somewhat. We are not in control. And we fail so miserably with planes. Everything should work just fine. It's perfectly built. Alright. Can we keep it like this at least? And if we can keep it like this, we'll get somewhere, probably over there. But we're already halfway out of fuel because we keep messing up. Sorry guys, that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna rage if it continues like this. I will build a working model and then we will pick up in the next episode. Sorry for our failures today guys, but uh, yeah, trial and error trial and error and we gotta work with what we can afford so that's gonna be it for this part i will see you guys next time with part seven this has been sin and kerbal space program we'll see you guys next time till then keep sinful keep alive and keep watching see you around